take a look at the first part that we created, okay? You guys should have this created already. Now, the interesting thing about looking at those machines that we just looked at, which were the, uh, the mill as well as that router that we looked at, they're all coming from the top. They're all machining from the top, okay? So this section view that we created is not needed. You'll see how I'm going to enter the dimensions for this height here, which is two inches. So I still will need my print, um, but all of my dimensions from the top view will be able to be used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my top view in creating this cutout. So I'll go ahead and select my top view um, just by windowing it, and you'll see that'll turn yellow. Um, so I can go ahead and copy that, edit, copy or cut, we'll just copy it out. And I'm gonna create a new document, okay? Now, the first thing to do when we're working with actually machining material is you need to set up your stock that you're going to machine this from. So right now, remember that operations manager we turned off a long time ago? We're gonna turn that back on. So that's Alt-O to turn that back on and that opens up the operations manager. From that, we'll be able to set up our stock. The first thing we need to do in Mastercam before we even set up our stock is we need to tell it what type of machine we're going to be using to cut this out. The nice thing we've done for you is we've already selected and placed our machines within the list. So if you're using the, the lathe, the only lathe we have right now, it's right here. Eventually there'll be two lathes there. If you go to mill, you have two options for mill. You have the uh, Forest Scientific and you have the Tormach mill. The Tormach mill is the metal mill in the metal shop and the Forest Scientific is the wood router or wood mill in the uh, room we were just in. So I'm gonna select the Forest Scientific and that will go ahead and open this up in my operations manager. Under this Forest Scientific, it's asking for properties. If I expand my properties, I have a stock setup window. I can go ahead and hit stock setup and enter the dimensions of my stock. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna say that we're cutting that piece out of an eight inch by eight inch by two inch brick of foam. I'll check that off and you'll notice this little rectangular prism shows up. You'll notice that it's still up in that correct location of our origin, excuse me, quadrant, and the bottom left corner is on our origin, zero comma zero, all right? That's very uh, relevant to when we're actually cutting it because this is basically the table that we just looked at. Zero, zero is the far left corner of the table, and our table actually goes from 48 to 96. So our table, we could go eight inches, eight feet this way and four feet this way. So we actually have a very small part here, okay? So that view that I copied from earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. And it's asking where I wanna place it, so I'll go ahead and place it right here for the time being. Okay, and I'm gonna move that down. So I'll select it and I'll say X form drag to move that. And I want to move it, not copy it. I only want one of them and I'm gonna place it right down in the center for now, okay? Now what you'll notice when I rotate this around, there's our block of foam and there's the view that I wanna cut out. So what I'm gonna do now is, I actually don't turn this into three-dimensional space. All I'm really doing is creating what we call tool paths to generate this part. So if you were to look at this part, I could basically say I want to create a tool path within this circle here that cuts all the way through my two inches of stock. I want to create a tool path in this part that cuts all the way through my stock. I want to create a tool path on the outside that follows this contour and cuts that part completely out. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm creating tool paths so I can assume it's under tool paths. I'll go to tool paths and I'm gonna say pocket. There's a couple options to us. There's contour, drill, pocket, face. We could drill these holes, okay? But if we drill the holes, that's assuming we have a drill bit that's that exact diameter, all right? So I'm gonna use the pocket function, which will go ahead and mill that area out. So I'll select pocket. And like I said, you guys don't have to necessarily know how to do this. Um, this is more of just an introduction to it. Okay, pocket. 
And I'm going to select this area as my pocket as well as this area. Those are the areas in which I want to pocket. Check it off. And the tool that I'm going to use is going to be a quarter inch flat end mill. This is from our tool library. So I'll just select a quarter inch flat end mill. And roughing entry motion will have a helix finishing. Good lead in. Yeah, we don't need depth cuts. We'll take a quarter inch every pass on depth cuts. And I want to go down negative two inches. Apply and check. Now what you see is that just applied a helix, all right? This is how the machine, these are the machine paths. This is how the machine is going to cut those circles, all right? You'll notice that if I look from the front view, it's helixing in. That's the spiral. It makes a pass at quarter inch down. It helixes down another quarter inch, makes a pass, helixes down, makes another pass. Okay, that's all controllable under the options and parameters that I've just entered. All right, and the really cool thing about Mastercam is it allows us to verify it. So if I hit verify, it's going to turn my block to a chunk of green foam you can think about. And when I hit play, it shows us what that machine's going to do. So, so far, that's what we've created. All right, I'm going to exit out of that. And I'm going to write my next operation, which um, I'm going to say, let's cut this part out for the preview sake. So I'm going to say toolpath contour. All right. In this particular case, I'm going to make a chain around the area I want to cut out. So I'm going to start with this line, come up to my circle, and cut that out. Now I already see an issue that's arising here is it's trying to cut this whole circle out. So for our master cam sake, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's use a quarter inch again, and let's go negative two. And I'll ask you if this is the correct, let's see if they did it right. Okay, let's see if this is what we want. Verify this operation. What do we think? No. no. What it's doing is it's actually cutting this full circle. So to solve that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this toolpath, and I'm actually gonna trim this inner circle out. We don't need it for this particular case. So I'm going to trim break, trim break, and I want to trim that and that. Okay. So now I can say, let's go ahead and look from the top view, make our life a little easier. Let's do a toolpath of a contour. And I want to chain that whole entire area. So the machine enters, makes a path or pass, excuse me, and then exits. So we'll check that off. Select our tool, cut parameters, depth cuts. Let's go every quarter inch again, so it'll make multiple passes instead of plunging two inches at once. Two inches, check. And what you see now is our operations. So it can become quite confusing um, in the sense you have many lines, but the advantage is that these lines are different colors. So mine are green here, and the purple or the, the other colors are my geometry. So if I select my operations, I can go ahead and verify this. Let's get our... Verification. And first we drill our holes, then we cut the part out. Now, I have to clean this up. This is a lead in, lead out. There's no problem, I can fix that under my parameters, lead in, lead out, turn that off, verify, yes. We will go ahead and verify this. Select all operations. Okay, so there's the start of our part. The next thing we'd have to do is go ahead and get this little notch cut out here, all right? Once that notch is cut out, we're ready to set the feeds and speeds of each one of these tools in other words, if we're cutting steel, we're probably going to cut it a lot slower than if we're cutting foam or wood. So I need to tell the machine what material we're cutting so it knows how fast to cut this stuff. Okay. The nice thing about this is each one of you have drawn this file. We will have an, the ability to produce as many of these as we want within those perfect specifications. Okay. So you guys see when you drew this in CAD, you could say, ah, it's close enough. But in reality, you think about these holes. Um, 
if we have an axle that's sliding through this hole, or we have a keyway that's sliding in here, and you've drawn it a little incorrectly, it's not going to work in real life. Okay? So the next step is going to be to get this pocket cut out, get this thing posted, and actually get this part cut out on the machine. All right? So that's the extent of the quick little introduction to MasterCam. Um,